What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. I'm the Rio Jossie. I'm Peter Parkour and this is Zach. Yeah. Hello. And we are the, the Distorted, Distorted Theorists. Theorists. Congratulations buddy. <laughs> You're an honorary uh, Distorted Theorist. Just for today. Don't get used to it. <laughs> anyway guys, we want to introduce you guys to a brand new segment here on the channel called Critical Reroll. And as you can probably already tell, it's because we are huge fans of the actual show, Critical Role, hosted by Matt Mercer. You've probably seen it all over the internet. It's really big right now. Peter, tell them what Critical Role is all about. So Critical Role, it's uh, self-explained on the channel. It's a bunch of nerdy voice actors yep. playing Dungeons & Dragons, and that's exactly what it is. Uh, the Dungeon Master, Matt Mercer, and a bunch of his friends, I'm not going to get into all of them now because there's a, no a number of them. <laughs> yep. um, they sit down and they've been playing Dungeons & Dragons now for seven years. The seven uh, years coming up this week yeah, is actually really cool. That's crazy. Um, and we are now into the third campaign. Campaign is one separate story. So yep. we've had campaign one, two, and three. Yep. Zach's been present, present for campaigns one, two, and three. I've been present for parts of campaign one, two, after they've already aired and all of campaign three. And I've this only guy, started watching on campaign three because these two jokers have kept telling me to get in D&D. &D. And you know what? It's probably the best thing I ever did because I didn't realize how immersive this, um, I guess, campaigns and the storytelling can be. Mm. Now, we brought Zach on today. Not only is he a good friend of ours, but also he is the dungeon master himself. So, Zach, why don't you tell the, the viewers who you are and uh, what's your D&D experience? Yeah. Uh, so, my name's Zach, like I said. <laughs> uh, so, I've been following Critical Role since they were doing campaign one. Uh, I've been watching it every every week, basically, on Twitch. Mm -hmm. I've also been DMing for about three years and playing uh, with, my, with a couple groups. Yeah. Uh, and yeah, you you told me one time actually you and your brothers play like a one shot every Christmas. Yeah, yeah, yeah we guys do. have a bit of fun with that. Yeah, yeah, we do. We play a Christmas one shot uh, where they play Christmas gnomes uh, <laughs> in a uh, North Pole setting that I made up, where Santa is an archfey and. Uh, Krampus is his evil twin and, and all this stuff. And this is why we brought him on the show, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen. Um, um, but, but go ahead. And 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 the reason being is that you're here is obviously because you are. Our DM. Yeah. Yeah. This this just isn't a, a funky little set. This <laughs> is our this campaign. is Zach's lair. This is the game table that he made all himself. He's the, done all these the figures that he's, that he's painted. And down here, we've actually got our campaign. There, all of these minifigures, except for the large one there, are ours. These are the people and players and races and critters that are all part of our campaign. Yeah, um, really fun down here. And uh, yeah, so uh, this guy tries to kill us <laughs> whenever, we, uh, whenever we play, yes. But uh, yeah, so the reason we brought you guys in on this new critical reroll mm. is because we wanted to give you guys a, I guess, a, a playlist or a genre of our dedication to critical role, what we think of it, our thoughts, reviewing some of the storylines, and basically, yeah, just see how Matt Mercer's telling the story and how he's weaving the web of everyone and keeping everyone together, because I don't know how he does it. And so. that's true, because Matt plays the role of the dungeon master that Zach also fills. Right. The, uh, all the other people that are part that are playing with Matt, we've got Laura, uh, Marisha, Liam, Robbie, Ashley, Talison, Sam, and Travis, <laughs> along other wow. uh, guest actors that come yeah. in, they, are doing the, the, they have the role of the players. Whereas we well, are, we do a we yeah, do we do. are the roles of the viewers. We are the viewer role, and you know what? That's a perspective that you don't get all the time. What do the people watching at home think of what what we see every week? Mm -hmm. Right. Um, so we're going to continue to do some of these episodes. We're going to get into a deep dive later. Uh, you see coming on the channel. So if you don't want to miss any of our critical reroll, critical role breakdowns, make sure you hit that subscribe button, uh, hit that uh, like button. Also. Tell them about leaving the comment on our own campaign. Well, that's the thing because when we do get together, there's there's a number of us. Uh, mm -hmm. A number of our players aren't actually here currently. They couldn't be here to other issues, or they just don't want to be on camera. Too bad. <laughs> um, uh, we figured like, we're not going to try and piggyback on what Critical Role's already done. They're doing massive work. Oh, They're so doing great. insane charity work. They're one of the highest paid uh, groups on Twitch right now. Mm -hmm. They made ten million dollars over the last year or year and a half. They have an animated show on Amazon. My God, Vox Machina just I, dropped. Check I, it out. I have a little figure there. That's that's the <laughs> contribution that I have. Um, do you want to dive into this campaign three? Yeah. Do I you mean, want to see what we do? See how we do as a group of idiots that follow what this guy tries and kills us with it's not a group of nerdy voice well, actors playing dungeons and dragons it's a group of morons fiddling through <laughs> magic missile and eldritch blast yeah. that's all we do we have a map it's got tea on it <laughs> that's bad. we remembered elementary school 
Um, but yeah, what do you think? Would you be open to that? Yeah. Just Zach? I will definitely be open, open to that. I will definitely remember the tea comment. Um, but I like I'll... the tea. <laughs> well, listen, if you want to leave a comment, let us know if you're interested in seeing any more uh, D&D content from our own campaign. We'd be happy to quench your thirst. Yeah. Um, but what we're really here to do is break down Critical Role Campaign 3. So, Peter, uh, why don't you tell us about uh, one of the first characters we meet? So, one of the first characters that we actually meet is Imogen, who's played by Laura Bailey, mm-hmm. and I'm terrible with races and classes. <laughs> Can you let me know what she actually is? I swear to God, I do watch this. I mean, uh, yeah. some are calling her, uh, well, I guess she's a human sorcerer. Yeah, like, uh, Laura's a human, Peter. Yeah. A, a, a human? human. With purple, uh, you may have heard human. of her. purple hair, yeah. apparently. Uh, I don't know. Yeah. Um, and fine. we find her accompanied with um, Lana, who's played by Marisha Ray. Yep. Um, and uh, is, she, is she dead? Yeah. Well, she, she's a dead girl. She definitely makes us believe that she is dead. Yeah. Yeah. Um, we, we still don't really know. She's the always doing her form of dread, as she likes to say. Yeah. Um, I love and it. And then we have uh, Ashton, I believe, is the next character we're introduced to. Played by Talz and Jaffe. Yep. Um, who's uh, a drunk, but he's also a barbarian. He's and punk. Who's his automaton companion, Zach? Uh, that'd be Fresh Cut Grass, also known as Letters, <laughs> so also known as FCG. <laughs> so weird. Um, that is a little little helper bot. And who's he played by, sorry? Sam Regal. Sam Regal, okay. Uh, we also then, once we get past those four, we meet Fern, oh, uh, who's Fern. played by Ashley Johnson, a name I do know. Yeah. She's yeah. easily, I don't, I don't care, I'm going to say, she's easily one of my favorite characters. She is very, she's fun. She's very creative. Um, and then we have uh, Liam O'Brien, yep. who plays... Uh, he plays Orem. Yeah. Uh, and oh, the Air Shark. The Air Shark. I was going to say Genasi. There you go. See, this is why we brought this guy. Yeah, I know. He's, he's a halfling. He's and, uh, he pays attention. He seems to be on like some sort of mission from what I gather. Yeah, he was sent uh, to look into uh, attackers that were sent to kill the Tem- yeah. uh, Voice of the Tempest, uh, mm-hmm. who was actually a character from the first campaign. And he brought with him... Um, um, Dorian. 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 Uh, I, I, keep, I got mixed up because he's, you know, the Wyvern win. Yeah. Uh, but... Dorian is uh, Air Genasi, played by Robbie Damon, uh, and actually Fern, Orem, and uh, Orem. I say Orem twice in the yeah. uh, Orem, Orem, and Orem. Orem, Orem, and Orem. And Orem. <laughs> or from the campaign uh, Orem. Fern, Orem, and yeah. Dorian yeah. are all from the Exandria Unlimited series. Right, uh, which I've heard is going to get another little uh, two shot. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm. Okay, so no. yeah, so I mean, these characters were introduced a little bit in the beginning. Um, now, we won't win the two depth with Travis Willingham, is it? Yes. Yes. Yeah. Uh, because. Uh, he plays a few characters, and, we, and we'll get into that in our later a deep dive, so to speak. But one person I do want to focus on before we clue up this video is, is the man himself, Matt Mercer. Um, Zach, as a DM and witnessing how he DMs, what do you think of his storytelling? Like, what is he doing in this campaign that he may be doing different than the other ones, or the same, or better? Sure. Um, so I definitely am probably not qualified to criticize Matt Mercer as a DM <laughs> because we're qualified we are not to criticize worthy. <laughs> Uh, I, I can't even do many voices. Yeah. Uh, but in the first campaign, it was cl- it was them adapting it from a TV show, or not a TV show, a, a, a game that we're playing at home like we do. Right. So that was more so them playing D and D, big epic adventures, big epic storylines, and it was awesome. Uh, campaign two was more about not really heroes. They were kind of. Not Misfits. thuggish, but like, you know, Misfits. Like, Misfits. An- they, like, yeah. So like anti-heroes, sort of? Kind of. They were, mm. some of them were pretty, they called themselves assholes a lot. Okay. Um, so <laughs> they, but they, they were fun. Uh, and then campaign three, it's kind of hard to see where it's going right now, but. Cool. Well, we we are only 15 episodes. Yeah. In. There are a lot it's of a lot of investigation right now. Yeah. It's kind of seen the main point of it is looking yeah. into characters, looking into like crumbs of information we, trying to figure out what's happening a lot more, in the current town. They're a lot more grounded, I find, this time yeah. around. Like like you said, the first time they're like, this is a character I made, where do we go? I don't know, let's see. The second one, they're misfits, yeah, because they're trying to work their way through, and they're just like, hey, we're a bunch of misfits that came together. But now, almost every single character it was introduced with a buddy. They're like, hey, yeah, yeah, this is yeah, what we're like, doing. Now, uh, maybe, and just it indulge me a little bit, it seems like there's a lot of open threads so far in the first 15 episodes, like, you know that they could take the story this way, this way, this way. Is that normal, yeah. or or is it more linear? Often, just just let me know what like because again, I'm so yeah. new to this that I'm like, well, what about this? And again, we'll get into this in our deep dives. But what about this? What about that? I mean, there's like four stories that could go a direction. It's hard to compare against how campaign one started because, like I said, that one started literally in the middle of an arc where they're going in over to Craghammer. I think it was the name of the city there. Mm-hmm. Um, the city proper. Yes, yeah, so city proper. That. Yeah. Uh, then in campaign two. The beginning, anyways, was a lot more directional of, like, they all met 
at a inn, I believe, uh, and they just happened to overlap and were invited to a circus, and then shit happened, and they all traveled together for a yeah. reason. Uh, this one is, again, they all banded together because furniture attacked them. Um, but <laughs> like, like it does, like, you know. Like yeah, I would, I, I too would partner with people who were attacked by chairs with me. Yeah. Um, uh, but it's this one seems very much more open because it's kind of a different setting, right? Like. Yeah. When you get into a small town and you're traveling, it's not. You, there's a lot of weird places to go, but it's pretty like not a lot of stuff's happening. Yeah. But they're yeah. in a massive city. Yeah. So there's a lot of stuff. Yeah. There's a lot of story points. They yeah. all came to the city and I mean, for their own reasons. And the thing is, we, we haven't even left the city yet in yeah. the campaign. So there's, a, but so much has happened. Uh, so I guess there's just a lot more to unpack, and uh, that's what we'll do. Like I said, if you guys are enjoying these videos, if you enjoy Critical Role, you're going to want to stick around because Critical Reroll on the channel here with the Distorted Theories, um, we, we're just going to keep unpacking this episode. Every five episodes, you're going to see a video drop, so make sure you hit the subscribe, make sure you hit the like button. So yeah, guys, so like we mentioned before, we do have our own campaign. We've got the campaign we're already going to be discussing with Critical Role. Um, and like we're going, we want to see where it goes from there. What do you think? I, with Critical Role, so will they be joining the channel? No, I mean <laughs> Matt. We'll see more details. <laughs> no, 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 no. no. Uh, no I mean uh, I thank you guys for joining us here today. I hope that we piqued your interest, uh, and I hope that you will enjoy further episodes of our Critical Reroll, where we break down Critical Role episodes as they happen. Um, how you? How was your experience with us today, Zach? You think you'll stick around? Yeah, I guess so. I mean, you can't really film the D&D sessions without me, so... Well, fair enough. Uh, uh, but... Gotta against a corner there. <laughs> a barrel. But once again, guys, thanks for tuning into the channel. We thoroughly appreciate it. I'm the real Jossie. I'm Peter Parkour. I'm Zach. And, and like, like we, we always, always say, say, keep it keep real. Keep it real. Am I allowed to say it? Sure. Yeah, sure, go keep, ahead. Keep it real. Oh, uh, we're going to have to do that again. <laughs>